Thanks for all the engagement, everybody. Uh, this message goes out to Mason. He had a question about how to create a teamwork and a frame to be able to really drive to results together that, that is somewhat unique. And so the first thing that you're going to want to be able to do is have a shared vision. So that's either um, you share the vision of why you're doing what you're doing or how you're going to do it, what you're actually doing, and you share that with others and they get inspired to be able to do it with you. So I think of the Wright brothers, right, um, who were uh, first to flight, man flight, and they were able to, even though they were running a bike shop, they were able to inspire other people to get into this desire to be able to get man to fly. So people didn't look at their credibility, they didn't care what calls they came through, they just had this passion to be able to do it. And then anybody that decided to partner up with them, they weren't promised big you know, equity in a business, they weren't promised salaries or anything. People didn't even know how they would even monetize this at this point, but they just wanted to be able to do it. And so people then were motivated by that. And so um, if you have that vision yourself as an entrepreneur or self-employed individual, you need to be able to share that with passion and, and influence and in inspiring others to be able to have that same kind of vision. The other thing that I, it reminds me of is if you're in a team and maybe it's an assigned team, you need to be able to identify then with each individual, if let's say you're in a leadership role, what is each person's key performance indicator, a KPI, or really what's what's really their driver, right? Because one person, it might be in promotion, another person, it might be income, another person, it might be salary, another person, it might be um, work-life balance. And so you want to be able to really pull out from them if you have the trust and confidence um, in them and them in you to be able to be that open in a conversation with you. Um, how do you get to that trust level? It's going to come through conversations one-on-one, -on -one, them being able to trust that you're going to help deliver on what it is that you're talking to them about. And realize that for some people, working in your, in your organization, working in your department, working at your company might only be a stepping stone to get them to that next level, to get some different skill sets, some different experience, and then take it to the next level. So um, understanding that that does, shouldn't take away from your organization, nor if someone's desire, if let's say I'm in financial services and somebody says, hey, I want to really understand investments so that way I can go to a mutual fund company and really run my own mutual funds, ultimately where I want to go. I shouldn't be threatened by their desire not to stay at my company, not to stay with me, but I want to be able to glean everything that I can out of them in order to get them ready for that next move. And so um, I'd say the other thing that teams do in a very strong, effective way is they communicate in a way that's meaningful for each other. So they don't send out a ton of emails. They don't have to do a ton of text messages. It's about being able to make sure that they have a regular, whether that's weekly or biweekly, every other day, whatever that number, um, you know, the recurrence might be. But they're communicating in a way that's very, very frank, very blunt, very transparent, at the same time, very uh, quick and effective. So you're not, you're not worried about all this um, uh, fluff that's happening. When you're a leader in an organization or in a team, you want to make sure that you're having those one-on-one -on -one conversations to constantly check in with your team on how are they doing. And I mean, I mean constantly from a standpoint of, hey, what's their KPI six months from now? How about five years from now? Have you checked in because that KPI might change as their life changes? Hopefully this helps, Mason. Hope you have a fantastic day.